Hey there, I'm John from MySolarHome.us. If you're wondering about how much you should pay for your solar panels or your solar panels plus batteries, or if you've got a bunch of solar coats and you're confused about which one to go for, or how much you should actually pay for your solar panels, how to make sense of prices, and also it'll help you budget, this will be a good video to watch. My name is John, I'm a solar professional with over 15 years of experience in solar panels and batteries. I try and make videos which are easy to understand and give you correct information. There are a lot of solar companies out there who are trying to make a lot of money off you. I can help you get really good deals, great equipment at fair prices. If you're looking for a solar quote or a quote for solar plus batteries, just email me john at mysolarhome.us with a recent electric bill and I'll give you a no obligations quote and it'll be fair, it'll have the best possible equipment. Buying solar panels and batteries is complicated as it is with so many brands of panels, so many brands of inverters and batteries. And then there are prices which are all over the place, but there's a very easy way to evaluate prices and compare prices between two different vendors, different panels, etc. And this is a standardized concept known as price per watt. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about purchasing your solar system. If you're looking at lease or a PPA, I have a couple of videos which talks about that, but this one is specifically for purchase. In my opinion, it's best to purchase your solar system because you get the maximum benefits, you get all the rebates, you get the incentives from the state, and you save the most money. If you ask a solar company for a quote, they're probably gonna come back to you and say that, okay, you need 25 panels and it's gonna cost you 25,700 bucks and it'll include so-and-so panels, inverters, etc. And if you ask another solar company for a quote, they'll give you a quote for similar panels or slightly different panels and slightly different inverters and, and slightly different price. But how do you make sure you're paying a fair price and how do you compare prices across different quotes? That's where price per watt comes in. Now to calculate price per watt, the first thing you need is the dollar price that the solar company is asking for your solar system. Now this is the gross price. This is the price that they put right on top of the proposal that your solar system costs, let's say 25,699. This is the price that they are charging you before any incentives, before tax credits, etc. Some solar companies try to be a little clever and try and show you lower prices. They'll show you the price less the 30% tax credit. So be careful when you're looking for this price, you're looking at the price before any incentives, before the tax credit. For example, let's say you got a price of for a system which is $25,699. Now to calculate price per watt, you need to know how many panels they're offering you and you need to know what kind of panels they're offering you. For example, let's say you got this quote. Company A is offering you 21 panels. Each of these panels are 400 watt panels. So, so the way you calculate the price per watt is easy. You divide that gross price, $25,699 divided by the number of panels, which is 21, and then you divide it by the watts of each panel, which is 400. So 25,699 divided by 21, divided by 400, and you arrive at your price per watt, which in this case is $3.06. Now in simple terms, a low price per watt translates to less dollars, higher price per watt translates to higher dollars. If you're comparing a couple of different solar systems, it's best to compare their price per watts. Now to understand how much you should be paying in terms of price per watt for your solar system, you gotta know what your size of your system is. Typically, the price per watt of the small systems are the highest, the medium sized system are slightly lower, and the larger systems have the lowest price per watts. Now the other factor which determines your price per watt is whether you're buying your system as a cash, that's you paying them upfront with a check, or if you're taking a loan from a solar financing company. If you're taking a loan, expect to pay a much higher price per watt. If you've got a bunch of solar quotes and you wanna compare them, the best way to do it is to look at a few of these factors. You have to look at what kind of solar panels and inverters you're, you're buying. A good rule of thumb is if you're buying a top 10 solar panel, like an REC or a Qcell or a Jinko or an Aptos or a Canadian Solar or a JA Solar or a Trina or a SunPower or a Silfab, you're good. Next, look at what you're getting in terms of 
Are you getting n-phase microinverters? Are you getting solar edge optimizers? If you're getting one of these two, you're good. String inverters, the kind which Tesla, for example, offers and a lot of other companies do, even Generac for that matter, they don't do as good a job of getting the, the max energy out of your panels. I normally advise people to avoid them. Go for a system with either solar edge optimizers or n-phase microinverters. Start, start first with the system size. The system size is basically the number of panels they're offering multiplied by the panel watts they're offering. So if, let's look at three different quotes here. The system sizes for quote one is 8.6 kW, for system two is 8.75 kW, and the third one is 10.2 kW. So if you look at system size, this is important. This is different from the output of your system. The output of your system is in kilowatt hours, and that varies from location to location. An 8.6 kW system in New Jersey will produce less output than the 8.6 kW system in California. I normally ask you to ignore solar output. Different companies have different ways of calculating solar output, so they are all over the place. Some are conservative, some are very optimistic, but do not compare solar outputs when you're comparing different quotes. Compare your system size. So if you look at this case, the three system sizes are 8.6, 8.75, and 10.2. The bigger the system size, generally the better it is, you'll get more energy from them. So if I'm looking at solar for my home, I do my math and I say, okay, I need an 8KW system, but if I'm able to, I'll, I'd rather put up a 10KW system because I know over the longer term, I might, might need more energy. So having more is better. Of course, they're more expensive. Next, compare their cash prices. But like I said, don't just compare the cash prices, compare their price per watt. If you look at the cash prices, obviously the 10.2 kW system is the most expensive and the 8.6 is the cheapest. But price per watt of the 8.6 kW system is $3.12. The cash price of the 8.75 kW system is three bucks and the cash price of the 10.2 kW system is $2.90. So the 10.2 kW system that company is actually giving you the best deal. If you want to buy a smaller size system, ask them to give you the same price per watt. You'll get an 8.6 kW system at a lower price if you still have that same price per watt. If you ask them for a finance quote, the prices will change. For example, the same system, it's 4.09 for the 8.6, 4.04 for the 8.75, and 3.95 for the 10.2 kW system. As for the finance prices, as for the cash prices, do your own price per watt calculations. You'll then, be, you'll then be able to compare three quotes with each other. Whoever's got the lowest price per watt is your best deal financially. If you're planning to buy batteries, batteries are expensive. The smallest battery that you can buy is an Enphase 3.5 kWh battery. That's just barely enough to maybe power your kitchen and that'll cost you something like 10 grand. The usual small size batteries, which most of the other vendors offer is a 10 kWh battery. Tesla has a 13.5 kWh, Generac has a similar size, Enphase has a 10 kWh battery. The, the batteries at the 10 kWh range, they're good enough to run your home. Anything which runs on 110 volts, running an AC of them is not advisable. You could run for a little bit. Those will cost you at least 15 to 20,000, a 10 kWh battery. If you double the size to about 20 kWh, be prepared to pay between 25 to 30,000. And I'm talking cash prices. And for full home backup, if you want everything to run up your batteries, you will need 40 kilowatt hours or more. And those systems will run north of 35 up to $50,000. So batteries are expensive. And these are cash prices. If you're looking at financing the batteries, add at least another 35, 40% on top of those cash prices. The size of your solar system, whether it's a small, medium, or large, will depend on how much energy your home is using. I have another video on my channel which gives you a good ballpark idea of how to calculate the number of panels you need. I'll have a link in the description below. So assuming you know you need a small system, how much should you expect to pay for your solar system? Let's look at an example here. A small system is between 12 to 19 panels. If it is a 12 panel system, it's about 4.8 kilowatts which is basically 12 panels into 400 watts, which is equal to 4,800 watts or 4.8 kW. To the higher side, if it's a 19 panel system, that's 19 into 400 and that's a 7,600 watt or a 7.6 kW system. Cash prices of these systems 
generally tend to be between $15,000 to $30,000, which if you translate it into a price per watt is between three to $4 a watt. So small systems, if you're buying cash, expect to pay between three to $4 a watt. Now remember finance systems, when you take a loan from a solar company, those prices are higher. Expect to pay between 20,000 to 42,000 for the same system, which is a price per watt between 3.5 to 4.7. Next, let's look at a medium sized system. So a medium sized system is anything between 21 to 35 panels. So a medium sized system is between 8.4 to 14 kW. The cash price per watt that you should expect to pay for a system like this is between 2.8 to 3.6. That's $2.80 to $3.60 a watt. Or if you look at the gross price, that's something between 25,000 to about $40,000. Same system, if you finance it, expect to pay a price per watt between 3.4 and 4.5. If you're talking about a large system, which is 14 kW or more, the price per watt will be from $2.6 to $3.3. If you're, if you're buying cash and if you're, buying, if you're financing it, it'll be between $3 to $4.1. So these systems typically cost you $37,000 or more if you're buying cash or $50,000 or more if you're buying finance. If you're looking for solar panels, don't forget to write to me. There are a lot more videos on my channel. Thank you for watching.